Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new episode of Stein's Ghetto. We are doing our third episode of the visual novel playthrough where we voice act the characters in Stein's Gate. If you haven't checked out the first two parts already, go check them out. They're, Otherwise, why are you here? They're, they're probably maybe in the link in the description. Or you just go to our channel and have to scroll through all the podcasts to find it. Listen to the podcast, too, while you're at it. Do you know how to link the description? What? Boom. Do you know how to link the description? Mm, kind of. All right, that's good enough for me. Perfect. Then we'll expect you to do it. But we're going to play through this. If you don't know, we do a podcast where we three talk about anime and such. You can check it out. It's called Baka Talk on all the, the, the places. But we're going to get right into the Steins Gate. Visual novel. Yeah. Visual novel. You want me to hit start now? Yes. yes. Okay. <laughs> we were looking at you expectantly. Enter. I should try to use the keyboard more. Load. 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 Enter. Enter. <laughs> this is where we left off last, right after... Yeah. Daru and Mayuri have already gone home, so I have to carry the TV down the narrow staircase by myself. It's brutal, back-breaking work, but I manage. I push the workshop doors open with my hips and head inside. The room is dimly lit by the setting sun, but the gloom is offset by the glare from the gigantic CRT in the center of the room. A 42-inch CRT television. It doesn't seem like something you would get in modern Japan. With... LCD TVs becoming the new standard, I seriously doubt anyone would want a bulky old CRT. Who's playing Mr. Brown? I think you are. Oh. Yo, what's up, Okabe? Sitting in front of the house, if sitting in front of the huge CRT, is an equally large man reading a sports newspaper. He's the workshop's manager. Actually, the owner of this whole building. Tenoji Yugo. I call him Mr. Brown. It's a fitting name for someone who loves brown tubes. What's up? That TV you gave me broke. That's what. <laughs> I bet you were treating it roughly, weren't you? I barely managed to set the heavy TV on the counter. Love. You gotta treat him with love. A muscle-bound bald guy talking about love. It sends shivers down my spine. I don't need repairs post-haste. Man, why do you always talk like that? Mr. Brown begins investigating the cause of the problem. With nothing better to do, I look around the store. I don't know if it's just the dust hanging in the air, but something feels stagnant about this place. There are CRT screens everywhere. The haphazard layout makes them seem like junk, but they're all functional, according to Mr. Brown. He's got a full range of both old and new. Some of them are probably older than me. There are even some flat screens and HD CRTs that came out just before LCDs took the market. You're open late today. Don't you usually close around 7? The crowds in Akiva thin quickly at night. All the major electronic stores close around 8 or 9 o'clock. And then, as if the liveliness of the day was simply a lie, the town goes silent. I'm expecting someone. You mean that chipmunk of yours? Don't be calling my little girl a chipmunk, you hear? The manager glares at me and takes a photo from his wallet. It's a picture of a young girl, shyly making a peace sign at the camera. One might assume this muscle-bound man to be some kind of pervert, but the girl is actually his daughter. She's about 12 years old now, I think. His love for her is second only to his love for CRTs. Or was it the other way around? 
I see her in the store every now and again. What was her name again? If you touch Nae, you're dead. That's it, Nae. A rare name that means to braid. She pops up at the store now and again, so we've interacted with her before. And by we, I mean Mayuri, since she's the only one Nae gets along with. Nae always hides when she sees me or Daru. That's a good choice. <laughs> I must admit, I'm impressed she can sense my aura of madness at such an early age. Mr. Braun makes a grandiose kissing gesture at his daughter's photo. Once again, shivers down my spine. But seriously, besides your daughter, has this workshop ever had a customer? I've been renting the second floor for about six months, but I don't recall ever seeing a customer. I would be surprised if this place were actually making any- I would be surprised if this place were actually making any money. Ain't a customer. He puts away the photo and goes back to checking the TV, leaving me with that vague answer. Hmm. There's probably just a loose solder on the board. I can fix it. Really? Well then, by all means. Hold on. I'll get you an estimate. What? You're charging me? What do you think? This ain't some charity. You're the one who gave us the TV! <laughs> yeah, so what? Never said I'd service it for free. Curse you. You have some gall to say that after frosting a half-broken piece of junk onto us. Oh, shut up. If you don't want it, I can take it back. Though I'll have to charge you for its safe disposal. Extortion! You dare cheat the man who very well may change the future of mankind? Ha! <laughs> Who's that now? Me, of course. Who else? Brush your teeth and go to sleep, kid. You've got some nerve to be back talking when I'm letting you rent the second floor for next to nothing. Hm. You shall have your money, Mr. Brown. In the end, I'm no match for him. Just then, I hear the door open. I look up to see that a girl has entered the store. She's wearing a vintage jacket and tight shorts that highlight her long limbs and athletic figure. I find myself particularly impressed by her well-defined thighs. Wow. Dang. Okay. <laughs> What's up? Mm. Hmm. Suddenly, time stops. I think this might be a good idea to check the mail now. See, or not. It feels See, like easy. someone activated Zawado. <laughs> Let's go, Jojo. <laughs> nice. That's cool. Can I actually check the phone? Yes, though? you can. If I do C? Yeah. Or not? Uh, probably not right now. This might okay. be like a certain point. Uh, um, the girl is standing there with her arm in the air. Her smile gradually fades into confusion. What kind of reaction was she hoping for? Seriously. Anyway, is she the person Mr. Braun was expecting? Maybe she's someone he knows personally. Another daughter? Or dare I say, his girlfriend? <laughs> That's funny. She finally drops her pose and clears her throat. Um, I called earlier. I'm Amon... Um, Amen. Amen. Amane. Amane. And just like that, time starts moving again. It's been five seconds, so Waldo runs out. Oh, so you're the kid for the job interview. I'm Tanoji, the manager. A job interview? This young woman? You want to work at the dull, dirty, depressing, debt ridden Brown 2 <laughs> workshop with this filthy old manager? <laughs> You want an extra thousand yen added to your rent? My words are but the truth. 
though I suppose it's not my place to get involved. <laughs> anyway, I had no idea the Brown Tube Workshop was hiring. He always looked so free. I didn't know you needed the help. Actually, I'm the one who begged for the job. The girl looks a little embarrassed. The boss refused at first, but I wouldn't take no for an answer. That's honestly surprising. Kids with drive are rare these days. Take a seat right there, young lady. Oh, thank you. Looks like they're going to have a formal interview. I was going to leave, but since Mr. Braun hasn't kicked me out, I'll stick around for a bit longer. The girl's expression is stiff. I guess she's nervous. Just because of a part-time job interview? In contrast to how she said she wouldn't take no for an answer, she doesn't seem so enthusiastic. Right. What was your name again? Amane Suzuha. Age? 18. Same as me. Student? No. She shakes her head. Why do you want to work here? Because I love CRTs. Hired. You start tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> that was quick. Wait, what? Is this some sort of joke? Are we on camera? Thanks. Thanks, boss. Finally, Amane Suzuha seems to relax. Then she looks at me. Um, who are you? You dare ask my name? Banish the thought from your head, girl. To learn it would place your life in jeopardy. Countless women have learned my name only to find themselves targets of the organization. Sarah in America, Claudia in Italy, Simone in France. I won't put anyone else in danger. Hey, stop pulling things out your ass. <laughs> <laughs> he just doesn't understand my pain. This idiot rents the second floor. Name's Okabe Rintaru. My name is not Okabe Rontaro, it's Hulhain! Quit it, or I raise your rent. I'm Okabe Rontaro. <laughs> the girl stands up, places her hand on my shoulder, and looks at me with a serious expression. I don't know anything about this organization that's after you. But if you're ever in trouble, Okabe Rontaro, let me know. I can help with stuff like that. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Stuff like what? If necessary, I can hurt them so bad they'll never bother you again. Mr. Brown, <laughs> I don't think you should hire her. <laughs> that was great, Mr. Brown. Yeah, she might be a wild one. I'll fire her if she causes any trouble. Anyway, ignore that organization nonsense. It's all in Okabe's head. It is? You just, <clears throat> you just keep thinking that. But someday, the world will kneel before me. <laughs> and then, Amane Suzuha stares straight at me again. Maybe she has a habit of looking people in the eye. So that's the current trend. Thanks for the tip. Trend? I don't think so. So hot. I was staring at the university. I was at the university all morning. As I returned to Akiba, the heat is now becoming unbearable. Can we check mail now? Uh, maybe. We have a message. Hey, there oh, we go. Oh, we got mail. You've got a message. You've got a message. A message. Oh. By Rukako and Mayuri. Are you really are you okay with it? With yesterday's with the yesterday's exorcism. exorcism. I feel more traditional ceremony would have been better. I'm worried something might happen to you because my exorcism wasn't <laughs> strong enough. 
It bothers me so much I can't sleep at night. I couldn't do more than three practice swings with Samari. Samadar. Samadar. Makes sense for her to be bothered by that. You know, I'm really sad about dropping my upa. It's worse than last year when I missed buying fatty gyro froggy. Ha <laughs> That's a reference to a... Not Darling in the Franks. <laughs> What? Chaos Head. It is time travel, so... Chaos Head. It's it's Oh, nice. And then that one's from the time machine that we look... The... Yeah. Yeah, that one's... The microwave. Message. All right. That's check. I grab an iced coffee at the bakery inside. (gasps) Yodobashi to quench my thirst. It just crushes the cup. While I'm at it, I guess I'll check at channel on my phone. Back to the phone, boom. I mostly (laughs) frequent the old occult board, the future technology board, and sometimes the physics board. I search for threads on mass disappearance phenomenon, or Makise Kurosu stabbing, but nothing turns up. Wait, we can't... turn up nothing. Turn down for what? Go to E. Oh, we can't go to the internet. What? No! No, we don't have access to the internet. Shoot. Uh. How are we supposed to look up all the off-brand anime? I don't know. <laughs> uh, let me go back, though. We just buy it. We're in, I can't That's not it. how we go back. <laughs> Let's yes, erase the game the data. Game. <laughs> uh, we did that last time. See, Don't say that. Nobody should know. I meant last episode. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> how do I bring the phone back down? Z, Z or Z. Z. Z or C. All right. What's... Or right click. Both at the same time. There we go. Okay. It wasn't following my commands. So were those hallucinations after all? When I peek at the occult board, I find posts and multiple threads from someone claiming to be John Titor. Gasp. Wait, John Titor is back? Double gasp. Squint eyes. John Titor (laughs) appears on an American... BBS 10 years ago, claiming to be a time traveler. <laughs> he, claimed to have tra- he claimed to have traveled from the year 2036 in order to obtain an old computer, the IBN 5100. His claim started quite a storm among the BBS denizens. Titor also made several accurate, if fragmentary, predictions of future events. The start of the Iraq War, the spread of the Kreutzfeld Jacob disease, for example. To prove he was from the future, he explained the principles behind his time machine and provided pictures of its operation manual. But after about four months, he disappeared without ever revealing his identity. At one point, his predictions gained popularity even in Japan. Yes, he certainly did get some things right. But on the other hand, he missed several others. Some of his posts contradicted each other, too. That's why, to this day, most people doubt his authenticity as a time traveler. I want to say his, uh, let me find the hints. Is it tips? Tips and tricks. Or I'm looking for where the purple text would be. Um, I That'd think be that's tips. Tips. Is that F4. Tips? All right, so F4. There we go. Yeah. So he claimed Jacobson's disease. Mad that's cow it. disease. Where John Titor? So okay. So many. Everybody watching this is gonna be like, "It's right there, idiot!" Oh, it's right at the top. Okay. Yeah, that's the one we're reading. Oh, that wasn't the. No, we're reading the John Titor one. No, you clicked on that one, but the first one. <laughs> you're reading oh, yeah, my cow disease. Cow disease. Yeah. Oh, okay. Used in the case of human infection, early symptoms include memory loss, abnormal movements, personality changes, dementia, and muscle stiffness. Right. Yikes. That sucks. Yeah. But on the other hand, he missed a... Uh, yeah, I read yeah, this. Time traveler. So after 10 years of silence, that same John Titor is now on a Japanese BBS? A BBS is basically like 4chan or Reddit or something. Yeah. For Ridiculous. those that don't know. It's obviously a troll. I love how troll is highlighted. That is awesome. It's a tip. What does it say about troll? We're looking at it right now. On the internet to post controversial opinion or false information for the purpose of provoking a reaction. <laughs> nice. Trolling. I love how that has to be 
explained. Right. First of all, uh, oh. no. Let's take a look at his Lord. posts. Oh, so now we got the internet. Ooh, we unlocked the internet. Do, 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 do. I don't expect you to believe that it came from the year 2036. I see that everyone would like to know more about my time machine. Time travel technology was developed by CERN. They completed the first time machine in 2034. Time traveler lol. John Titer lol. <laughs> more details on the time machine. I love the misspelling. That's amazing. How did they sell time machines? How much did they cost? I've got about 100 million yen saved. Can you send me one? <laughs> of course somebody wants to buy it. That makes so much sense. It's going to be like That's the epic. time machine from, uh, what's it called? Napoleon Dynamite. <laughs> CERN has a monopoly on time machines. Not even the most powerful nations on Earth can acquire one, to say nothing of private citizens. CERN used the time travel for power. By 2036, the world has become a dystopia. There is no war, no conflict. However, that is false peace founded on the complete eradication of liberty. What does lol mean? Why do you come to this time? Was Akiba satellite crash your doing? Wait, guys. Titer san doesn't understand at channel lingo. Let's keep it simple, K, okay? if you know what I mean. Get a trip gold <laughs> asshole. <laughs> uh. I came here to change my present, in other words, your future. My mission is to destroy CERN's dystopia and restore freedom to the world. This is a wonderful time you're living in. Everyone is free, but you will lose it all in just 20 short years. It is vitally important that you understand what the future has in store. What is a trip code? I might get one if you tell me what it is. You said only CERN has time machines. You have a time machine. That must mean you're working for CERN. Therefore, your goal can't be to destroy CERN's dystopia. You're a fraud. QED. QED. What's a dystopia? How can CERN take over the world in just 20 years? Look at the Middle East. You've been reading too much manga if you think those guys... If you can get those guys to stop killing each other. <laughs> Who asked you to change the future? You trying to play God? If they're promising world peace, then I for one welcome our new CERN overlords. My time machine is a prototype reverse engineered from stolen CERN technology. Compared to their time machine, its capabilities are quite limited. In 2036, the world is ruled by a single, all-powerful governing body. They control every aspect of our lives, deciding what we will eat, where we will live, and whom we will marry. There is no privacy and no choice. Anybody who dares oppose them is eliminated. There are no trials. In movies and stuff, small changes to the past cause huge changes to the future. You've already changed the present by coming here. What happens if you make unexpected changes to the future? Implying CERN rules the world. Do you even know what CERN is, lol? OP is a troll. So if we find his dad and kill him, then this time travel, I am AO, will never be born, and we <laughs> won't have to listen to this bullcrap, am I right? I want to know if I can meet your past self. Can you have self oh, <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Leave it to Japan. <laughs> Oh, God. You're talking about the so-called grandfather paradox that has been debunked. This world line has a divergence of 0.5712024% compared to the world line I came from. Killing my father would alter divergence, creating a world line where my father is dead. However, it would not erase this world line. I would go on existing. CERN is a particle physics research institution that hasn't changed in 2036. It is possible to meet my past self. The prevailing theory is in my time, is that nothing would happen. I, however, haven't met my past self. If you're really a time traveler, then freaking prove it. Post time machine pics or GTFO. The many worlds interpretation? Whoa, slow down, bro. Research institution taking over the world? Lol, what? <laughs> what? I do not feel the need to prove that I am what I say I am. I am only posting these messages on a whim. My mission comes first. What are world lines? Can you meet yourself from other world world line? What happens if you do? A late Can we click on these hyperlinks? No. No. A late reply. A trip code is a way to identify posts posters, post, posters put but password after your name. name. Lol back PD PBL, back pedaling. Back pedaling. 
World lines are like infinite number of rivers flowing in a parallel. Along the way, they are consistently branching out into new world lines. This is called divergence. For example, whether or not you post on this message board has practically no effect on this world line's divergence. But if you were murdered, let's say, then divergence will change. However, it would only change about 0 0.000002, if that. A single human's being death is not terribly significant on a global scale. Wars is disasters, acts of terrorism, and other events that cause widespread death and destruction have a much greater effect on divergence. Thanks for telling me about the trip codes. I'll make sure I'll make sure to use one from now on. I'm starting to get tired. Let's pick up again tomorrow. It's been fun talking to everybody. They all berated him. What do they mean talking? <laughs> Looks like they've already made an archive of these threads. Of course, there have been sites dedicated to John Titer for years now. This post closely resembles what the original Titer wrote 10 years ago. I've read one of the books on Titer. That's how I know. This new John Titer is clearly an imposter. There are many Titer fanatics on At Channel. He's not exactly a household name in Japan, but I doubt anyone would fall for this level of trolling. As I continue to read, however, I find the response the opposite of what I expected. Everyone is accepting this time traveler as if it were his first appearance. Nobody has ever mentioned his appearance 10 years ago. Finding this strange, I try posting a retort, but everyone ignores me. What the heck? You can figure this out if you do a little research, people. There's the original John Titer thread archive in English. There's plenty of Titer blogs in Japanese. I enter John Titer's name into the search engine. Twelve matches. Wait, only twelve? Moreover, all twelve are about the current John Titer's posting on at channel. I can't find a single trace of the John of the Titer from ten years ago. Bizarre. This just can't be. I searched for information on Titer a few years ago. Back then, I got tens of thousands of hits. Is this search engine filtered? I try searching on another site just to make sure, but it gives me the same result. What is this madness? It feels like I've stumbled on another plane of reality. Heh. <laughs> Could this be another organization conspiracy? These past two days I've been surrounded by nothing but chaos and confusion. I'll call Daru. He'll know about John Tite he'll know about Titer for sure. After all, I've talked to him about Titer before. I only vaguely remember the details of that conversation. But I'm positive the conversation happened. By the time I dig my phone out of my bag, I no longer feel like making the call. Instead, I send him an email on the way back to the lab. He replies with his location. By May Queen. He means May Queen plus Nya squared. A maid cafe. Nice. Dar is a regular there. Apparently, 3D cat maids are his thing too. May Queen plus Nya squared is only a three minute walk from the lab. Is that actually what it's called? I don't assume so. From Kuramabashi Dori. Take a left at Tsukima Ko Isaka crossing, and you'll find it. That's where I'm headed now. It's usually busy in Akiba during summer break, but now it's even busier because of the Ratty Ken incident. This area was blocked off yesterday, but it doesn't look like they could keep the main road closed for two days straight. I haven't seen a, I haven't seen a single police officer today. But the Ratty Ken building still seems off limits. The entrance shutters are closed shut with sealed and sealed with yellow police tape. You've got this boom. Okay. We're here now in Akabara. The day after the explained, unexplained satellite crash, the police barricade has been lifted and a tremendous number of people have gathered in front of the station. The satellite origins is still under investigation. We're told that it can't be removed until the authorities have more information. According to the police, the satellite does not appear to be dangerous. However, tourists and local... <laughs> 
Business owners have raised concerns. Yes, terrorists probably <laughs> raised concerns. In the, in the background, you hear, Take me, alien Sean! Let's go to Area 51! <laughs> the media has dozens of cameras set up outside the police line. And there are nearly twice as many onlookers as reporters, enough to fill the entire street with people. Everyone's Ooh. aiming so many people. <laughs> Living in Akiva, you get used to crowds and big events, but a gathering of this size is unusual. I wonder when they'll get rid of that thing. I hope it doesn't explode or something. They've been letting people back into the area, so I guess there's no danger. Still, considering its unknown origin, I'm surprised there isn't more security. Today, like always, otakus are shopping for doujinshi, import games, electronics, or whatever strikes their fancy. I find it funny that they, uh... Fan created amateur manga, which are not, Get which out. are often but not always adult in nature. These are sold at special doujinshi events. The biggest one being Twice Animal Comic Giga Market, known no, by fans as, as Kami Ma. We should be invited to that. Because that's a real thing. That is Kami Kami Cat or something. It's called. Yeah, Kami Cat. They hold one in winter, summer, fall, and spring. It's yep. big. All right, strikes are fancy. Aside from the scene at Radi Khan, it is the same as any other day. But I still don't understand what I saw yesterday. I've half accepted that the mass disappearance was just my imagination. Maybe I've become unable to distinguish reality from fantasy, like the media likes to say about teenagers these days. With that thought in mind, I return my gaze to the street. And there, in front of me, stands a woman holding her phone in front of her face. Oh, no! Ah! Sounded like he got shot. <laughs> that sound effect. <laughs> she took a picture. Her phone was clearly pointed at me. I tried to cover my face, but not quickly enough. Fair use. This violates fair use. <laughs> I turned around just to make sure that she wasn't pointing it at someone behind me, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Eh. She stares at her phone. She's still staring at her phone. Without even glancing at me, she turns around and points her phone at some other pedestrian. Maybe she's just taking photos of everyone at the scene, and not just me. To cover up. But still, I need to have a word with her. The organization is after me, so I can't risk that photo getting out. Wait, wait, wait! <laughs> <laughs> nice. Eh. She doesn't turn around. Is she so engrossed in her photography she doesn't even notice me? Notice me, senpai. Or did she not catch my magnificent native-level English? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you with the phone. Oh, you with the phone camera. Wait, please, wait. Uh? She turns back, finally noticing me. And, of course, her phone turns with her. Hey, no pictures! Are you with the organization? Mm. She completely ignores my objection. It turned from just lady to voyeur lady. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. And then she goes back to looking at her phone. Answer my question. Are you with the organization? If she is, then I may have to take suitable measures. Mm. Possible, Possible organization, organization spy. spy. <laughs> You're not? Mm, Possibly not, not organization, organization spy. <laughs> Even so, I can't let you keep that picture. The organization will stop at nothing to find my whereabouts, and they'll kill anyone who gets in their way. I need to delete that picture immediately. Mm. A lady in there. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Is she even listening? Sorry. Wow, she finally speaks. Just a whisper, but it's something. If I upset you... Lady who apologized out of nowhere. She slowly lowers her head, slightly in a bow. Or at least, I think it's a bow. She's been looking down all this time, so I can't really tell. Before you apologize, I need you to delete that photo. I was shooting the scenery. 
Her fingers dance across her phone keys with impressive speed, exactly the opposite of her annoyingly slow speech pattern. The scenery? You're a tourist? Or is she one of those, one of the people who came to see the satellite? In that case, why did she take a picture of me? She shakes her head without looking at me. It's proof of where I was today. Lady ignoring me and apparently sightseeing. <laughs> <laughs> You're a strange lady. Kiru Moika. Strange lady, apparently a sightseeing in Akabara. Hmm? My name. I guess she's introducing herself. That's nice. But I just want her to delete the, I just want her to delete that photo. I have a question for you. May I? First, the photo. There's an urban legend in Akihabara. Have you heard of it? An urban legend? What is she talking about? Squint eyes, don't tell me. There's a brilliant but insane mad scientist said to be lurking in Akihabara. And now that brilliant but insane mad scientist is the target of every assassin in the underworld. <laughs> I've remained in this town for far too long. I'll need to make plans. Akihabara, you are such a bad town. I'm glad that the phantom retro PC... Retro PC? She replies with a nod, or something like a nod. They say there's one in Akihabara. Oh. Nothing about a mad scientist. I'm relieved, but also disappointed. At any rate, this is the first I've heard about a phantom retro PC. A retro PC? You mean like a 98? That's the first model that comes to mind. There are 90... Oh, <laughs> she shakes sorry. her head slightly. Or something like a shake. No. This. She turns her phone towards me. The screen shows an oddly shaped computer. It's hard to tell since the picture's monochrome, but it looks like some kind of PC. It looks kind of familiar. An IBN 5150... 5100. 5100. Blah! IBN 5100. That's the computer John Titer tried to get. Her fingers twitch, I think. You've seen one? No. I've only heard the name. Coincidence? I think not. No. This could be the choice of Stein's Gate. Know anyone who might know? Daru probably knows more about it. He's my favorite right arm. A super hacker capable of breaking into even M16's mainframe. MI6's. That's not a one? <laughs> it's no. not a one, that's an I. MI6 is the British In the my sixes. <laughs> my six. My Here, six. I can show you. F4. In the United Kingdom, the government organization responsible for a foreign military, foreign intelligence operation. MI6 stands for Military Intelligence Section 6. However, its formal name in the Secret Service is the Secret Intelligence Service. Not so much of a secret. I guess they don't want to be called CIS. Ha <laughs> <laughs> they're a bunch of CIS. A Japanese PC. It's so hard to say PC when I hear the voice actor say PC. I know. PC. It sold so well that at one point it was called the National Computer. Oh, really? Excuse me. Oops. The MI6 part is in slight exaggeration. If that ever did happen, men in black would break down our door and take us away. But the super hacker part is true. The depth of his computer knowledge is uncanny. Speaking of Daru, I'm supposed to meet him at May Queen Nyan Squared. I don't have time to stand and chat with some crazy lady I don't know. Well, I'm off. Lady, media scrum in... Oh, media scrum in moderation. What's a... 
tips. What's media scrum? What is media scrum? During news stories with high public interest, reporters sometimes latch onto persons of interest, bombarding them with questions, ah. prying into oh. their lives, and even camping outside their houses. These activities are a serious invasion of privacy and can inflict mental and emotional stress on the subject. Also known as stalking. Sounds like normal media to me. Sounds like you. <laughs> or you. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> I don't know. Good, good sure. job, Boom. I try to make a smooth exit, one liner, and everything, but she grabs my sleeve before I can disappear into the crowd. Oh, I thought the place exploded. Oh, she's mad. What are you doing? Your email, please. What are you after? The super hacker. I guess she wants to hear Daru's story. It's my fault for mentioning him. Well, I'm meeting up with Daro, so why don't I just take her along? No. No, wait a second. Good, don't Everyone do that. Everyone hates Moika. This could be a devious trap. It is. it is. Maybe she's really a spy sent to kidnap Daru. Yes. Probably. I'm defenseless without him. What? My only other ally is Myri, whose skills amount to costume design. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, bud. <laughs> I refuse. I'll never give up, Daru. Myri's way more than costume designer. I slip past her and start walking faster. Do you see her behind us running like uh, the one guy from Cloud Chance Meatballs? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's running like JoJo. Mm. Oh, she's gonna cry. <laughs> she's following me. Oh, crap. Oh. She's a stalker. She's a scrum. I pick up the pace. Run, Daru. But she's Not still Daru. chasing me. Stop following me! Unperturbed, she shows me her phone again. On the screen is a picture of me that she took. Yeah, <laughs> you still haven't deleted it? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, and I'll delete it. You dare blackmail me? Who do you work for? I attempt to glare her into submission, <laughs> but her eyes are already lowered. My glare is ineffective. <laughs> he used glare. It was ineffective. I. She hesitates for a second. Work part-time at Arc Rewrite. What's that? An editorial company here in Akihabara. One of those companies that writes articles for magazines? Is this gloomy lady really fit for that kind of work? Wait, you plan on publishing my picture without permission? Don't you? The mad scientist of Akiba unveiled. I can see the headlines now. That's all the organization will need to turn Akiba into a sea of blood. No, I must, that, I must avoid that gruesome outcome at all costs. I have no choice. Very well. I accept your terms. At any rate, as long as she has that photo, I have no way of knowing how it might be used. I pull up my email address and show it to her. Looking back and forth from my phone to hers, she enters my info with terrifying speed. Of course. This woman is an esper. <laughs> <laughs> Mamu? General term for humans who possess supernatural powers. You need powers you. include telepathy, kinesis, precognition. Though more exotic powers exist, it is rumored that some experts even possess the ability to reshape reality with pure force of will, derived from the term ESP, which stands for extrasensory perception. This, if she actually had that, she'd be way more interesting than what she actually is. This is a <laughs> useful fact in Chaos Head. It is. Whoa. I dub her power Shining Finger. Her magical thumb types cursed emails at 255 characters per minute. Whoever receives one dies. <gasps> Dang, she's got a death note, death phone. She's done typing my address. It took all of five seconds. Name? Hyoin Kyoma, med scientist. How is it spelled? First, Hyoho for Phoenix, then In, and finally Kyoma, which means a horrible truth that must never be revealed. Huh? Hyo for Phoenix, then In, and finally Kyoma, which means a horrible truth that must never be revealed. 
I repeat my perfect explanation. This is the origin of my true name. Explaining the in part of Hyoin would take too long, so I left it out. Uh, she enters my name with her head tilted to the side. She got closer. Like this? Yeah. What oh, the what hell is this? Oh, Are it. you mocking me? Ho oing yo ma? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> uh, she lowers her head a little more. An apologetic bow, I guess. Just hand me your phone. I'll enter it. <laughs> she shakes her head, clutching her phone with both hands if, as if to protect it from me. Like a spoiled child who can't let go of a toy, she shields me from... She shields it from me with all her might. What does she think I'm going to do? Her reaction is a little depressing. Anyway, she's obviously not going to hand over her phone. Hand her phone over, so I asked for her address instead. I'll send her a blank mail. She told me her name a few minutes ago, but I forgot it already. So I enter her as Shining Finger. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot what? of grunting in this episode. <laughs> what am I doing standing here in the middle of the street? Let's hurry up and send her a blank mail. I don't need to type anything. It's just to give her my name. I already put her in my contacts. Just send a blank email to Shining Finger. I guess we have to do that. Uh oh. No, no. They, they, oh, they, what? They, 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 they. Back. Um. Back again. That's inbox. That's our messages. We want to go to uh, that one, and then go to Shining Finger. Outgoing. And send. Send. Oh. <laughs> It took a while. It's just like email. Visual novels are not very intuitive for how to play them. Mm. She's staring at her phone. I don't think I've ever met someone who made less eye contact. We can make this chance to run away. Wow, we have different kinds of characters. She makes no con eye contact. The other one made too much eye contact. Yeah. After a few seconds, her phone receives the email. Okabe Rintaro? What? How do you know that name? From the blank email. Dang, I hope my email's... My email's still linked to my real name. I must change it at once. That's just my alias. I'll send another one with my true... No, this is fine. Nonsense! I am not Okabe Rintaro, but Hoin Kyo! Hmm. She's really not buying it. Did you delete the picture? She nods slightly, I think. It's really hard to tell. Her body language is as subdued as her voice. If you delete it, then prove it. She silently shows me her screen. The only picture remaining is the one of the computer. That's a relief. I'll email you later. So ask, okay? About, About what? The urban legend. Oh, that. I almost forgot. With that, Shining Finger wanders off. To get hit by a bus. Throughout the encounter, <laughs> she kept the same cool expression. Actually, I don't think we ever once made eye contact. <gasps> Alright, ready for this? Uh, all three of us at once. Welcome, Welcome back, back master. <laughs> I'm gonna go shoot myself a gun now. Too bad. I opened the door to Main Queen Plus Nyan Squared Maid Cafe, and two familiar cat-eared girls greet me with smiles. Ah, it's Alcarine. Mayuri does not look right with blonde hair. She didn't look right right in the anime either. I know. One of them is Mayuri. But here she's called Mayushi Nyan Nyan. Since she works here, I stop about twice a month. I guess that would make me a regular customer. Actually, I've never been to any other maid cafes. Welcome back, Okarin. In very polite Japanese. After bowing again, Mayuri gasped as if she thought of something. 
Hey, Okari. Mayushi just noticed something. Welcome back and Okarin go really well together. Whatever. <laughs> Who's voicing Ferris? Me? Uh, I mean, you've done all the other women. Kyoma, it's great you came. Yeah. The other maid who actually came who came to greet me, Ferris Nyan Nyan, her professional name, of course, hits me with her trademark combo attack of cute cat-like gestures. She's May Queen's May Queen plus Nyan Squared's most popular maid. I want you to get that name down so you can just fly through it like May Queen plus Nyan Squared. <laughs> Even though she and Mayuri are about the same age, she looks and acts a bit younger. I assumed she was older. <laughs> That's what I thought. Daro Nyan's here too. He's been waiting, Nya. Daro frequents this cafe because he's got a crush on Ferris. He often reads her public blog while muttering, Ferris, you're so cute to himself. He's got it real bad. I keep telling him to choose either 2D or 3D, but he doesn't listen. I also have trouble dealing with this cat girl. She always finds a way to... Tr she always finds a way to best me. Wait, that means we're in a love triangle with Daru, Ferris, <laughs> and Okabe. Are you holding another secret meeting to overthrow the evil organization, Nya? Uh, yeah, something like that. Ferris wants to join too, Nya. No chance. The organization isn't threatened by cat-eared maids. Real quick, if I can add... Yeah. It looks like in the background, there is a kid with his mom. <laughs> <laughs> Not like, true, Nya. <laughs> Ferris has the perfect secret technique to help take them down. Yeah, like, there is a kid. Yeah, that's like amazing. <laughs> it's like he wanted to come here by himself while his mom was like, no, where do you want to go? We can go. It's He's like, like fine. <laughs> we can go together. Have a nice time He is together. staring. <clears throat> okay. Where is my cursor? He is staring. <laughs> right <laughs> there. <At> that girl. <laughs> That's great. And, and the mom is deciding about how to bring this up to the dad. <laughs> what? You finally mastered that secret technique? Yes, Nya. After completing my pilgrimage to the Guinea Highlands and overcoming my mentor's death, I finally mastered it. What mentor? Ferris knows my true name, Hoin Kyoma. I've also told her all about the organization. And now she's more into that than I am. She's always the one to bring up the subject whenever we meet. By the way, this is the first time I've heard of this secret technique, or whatever it is. So, Ferris wants to participate in the spirit conference like you promised, Nya. Ugh, she's not letting it go. It'll take 30 minutes if I play along with her. You're not suggesting we venture to the sanctuary? The answer is no. Although you may understand the hidden secrets, you're still too inexperienced. But, but, you promised, nya. Are you going to betray me? My brother is waiting for me there. Since when do you have a brother? And what the heck's this spear conference anyway? Ferris looks at me with actual tears in her eyes. I didn't know she was so, uh... Chino view in the visual <laughs> novel. I falter, even though I know it's one of her cutesy acts. Whenever I talk with her, I run out of comebacks, which is really unusual for me. And then she takes the initiative, leaving me with nothing to do but listen to her fantasies. I mean, come on, you can only take it so far. <laughs> There's a very clear difference between her stories and mine. As anyone can see, I speak nothing but the truth. While Ferris only has delusions and a made-up backstory, I always have to play along. That's why I feel like I can never best her. Um, I don't quite get it, but Mayushi go to the sanctuary too. But can Mayushi go to the sanctuary too? Great! Now when I great now who <laughs> now look who's joined it. <laughs> it's just going to get worse from here if there's so many women in this uh visual novel we He's might have to have uh somebody else read the inner dialogue these will be overloaded yeah, I, I mean, yeah i'm just gonna be everybody <laughs> 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 
I have to end this conversation now. You can't come. This discussion is over. Eh? No fair, Kyomia. <laughs> That's right. Leaving Mayushi and Ferris Chan behind is mean. Who is... is Ferris? Ferris Chan is Ferris Chan, right? Nah. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> Mayuri and Ferris look at each other and smile. Is she talking about this Ferris? Is that her real name? Have I been mistaken all this time? That's a disturbing thought. Well, Mayushi has a hard time saying Ferris, so I call her Ferris-chan instead. What? It's just... Ferris uh, and Ferris. <laughs> they pronounce differently. Oh, so that's it. That's me. Oh, sorry. You can read this then. <laughs> Do it. It's like we're in a girl's school. That's not too tabby. Okay then, moving on. Show me to the table already. How long do you want me to stand here waiting? Yeah, <laughs> sign ya. Table for two. This way, nya. Mayushi, I'll leave it to you. Nyan nyan. <laughs> leave it to me. Nyan nyan. If you hadn't noticed, the cat eared maids here at May Queen plus Nyan Squared are required to add cat sounds, nyas and nyans to their words with some frequency. Mayuri takes my hand and leads me inside. Apparently, Mayushi Nyan Nyan is the only one who leads customers by the hand like this. It probably comes naturally to her. She doesn't even realize the effect it has on her customers, and that's why she's second to Ferris in popularity at this maid cafe. She guides me to Daru's table. The tables are about 60% full. Among Akiba's maid cafes, May Queen plus Nyan Squared's plus Squared's popularity is solid, <laughs> but not booming. <sighs> Considering what Ferris and the others are wearing, it's more like a cosplay cafe than a maid cafe. Furthermore, the cat ears and Nyan Nyanian dialect makes it less accessible to low-level otakus and first-timers. That poor mom. On the other <laughs> hand, those same cat ears are a topic of heated debate among die-hard May Cafe fans. Look at that muscular guy in the background Mates reading the book. don't have cat ears. That's great. We can see the whole scene. Oh, okay. Cat ears plus maid equals two times mo. That's why it's squared. These two viewpoints clash. This place is one of the older maid cafes in Akihabara, but it doesn't get much media exposure. Maybe that's what makes it more comfortable than most. At least, that's what Daru says. He talks about this stuff so much, it's been burned into my synapses. Daru-kun, okurainishiya-nya. Is that Daru? Dang, he changed. Oh. You're way late. Oh. That's Who's this? That's Jane. mine. I can at least talk once in this No, <laughs> it's me. You're way late, seriously, man. I'm so good at Daryl. Fine. <laughs> it doesn't count. Daryl <laughs> <laughs> sits in front of me, but doesn't look my way. <laughs> he looks upset for some reason. Because he stole his line. <laughs> so what were you talking... Oh, wow. So what were you just saying about with Ferris? I want details. You really want to know? I don't think you'd understand it. Heck, even I didn't get most of it. Ah, the usual. Your conversations are too much for regular otakus. You guys ex exude an aura or something, you know? It's like you two have your own reality marvel. Marble? You know I can't forgive you. What's reality marvel? I think Ferris... Or, <laughs> <laughs> you got this, boom, let's go. I think Ferris Chan likes ochreen, yeah? Oh god, I want to kill myself. <laughs> of all the maids and masters here, nya, the only one who can keep up with Ferris Chan is you, Okarin. I'm going to look nya. up Reality Marvel. Look at how yeah, grumpy 
thought it was. I don't think he likes that um, Okabe was talking to Ferris at all. And then Mario's over there. I think Ferris likes you. He's like, (laughs) (laughs) Daru's gonna smash. (laughs) A type of magecraft in which the user overwrites the world with a pocket dimension based on his or her emotional experience, often used in ordinary conversation to speak of couples flirting in public, immersed in their own world, not caring about the pain they're inflicting on others. So basically, reality marble is get a room. Yeah, <laughs> that's funny. Quit being a normie. I'm not even close to keeping up with her. I'm so jealous, you lucky. Uh... <laughs> We're reading, it's fine. <laughs> but if I say it... I've been saying all the lines my guy's been saying. Uh, I've been saying the ones I can't translate to uh, lesser words that YouTube doesn't care about. I don't know. I'm so jealous, you lucky bastard. I don't care if we get uh, demonetized. <laughs> I have no interest in women who dress themselves in lies. Like you're the one to talk. Silence, you unfaithful bastard! All your 2D wives are crying. <laughs> you struck a nerve, man. Daru theatrically grabs his chest and falls into the table. <laughs> Fall into the table, boom. I don't want to break anything. I sip from one of the glasses of water that Mayuri brought to our table. Just water? Lame. Master, may I take your order, nya? Omelette rice. And hot coffee, black. Right, coming right up, nya nya. After taking my order, Mayushi finds her way towards the counter, as if sim swimming between the rows of tables. Whoosh, whoosh. I hope she doesn't trip. <laughs> so, uh, what did you need? Daru asks without getting up from the table. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. In my confrontations with Shining Finger and Cat Girl, I almost forgot my original objective. <laughs> I just calls her Cat Girl. I was going to head to the lab in about an hour. I have an urgent matter to discuss. Top secret. I lean on the table and scan the area without moving my head. You remember John Titor? John Titor? Who's that? The self-proclaimed time traveler who appeared on the internet about ten years ago. I thought we talked about him before. Is this a new addition to your made-up backstory? It's nothing like that. Everything I say is the truth. What a pain. Well, I guess I can play along. So what's about the source on this tighter guy being from the future? You've seriously never heard about him before? Seriously, bro? I haven't. Sure you didn't just forget? I can't say for sure. There are even books about him. I might remember if you show me. You really don't remember. Memories fade. We c- we're not computers, man. This is wrong. I remember talking to Daru about John Titor back in high school. It was only idle talk, so it's possible that Daru forgot about it. Daru is quite the internet addict, but the internet lets you choose what information you want to see. There's no guarantee Daru looked up info on John Titor. Alright, I just wanted to comment on the music in the background. It's amazing. It is good. All this music is amazing. I wish we could just let you listen to it for a second, but I'm pretty sure you do it. <laughs> Right yeah. If he had, I doubt he would have forgotten so completely. Is it my memories that are mistaken, or everyone else's? Then what about the IBM 5100? Whoa, you know about that? Cool. So you know about it? It's the model IBM released back in 1975. Right. That's what John Titor said on At Channel. He traveled to 1975 first, obtained an IBN 5100, then leaped to 1998. What kind of computer is it? 
the stupidly expensive kind. But back when it came out, computers were so expensive that average people couldn't get their hands on them. It was full of pr proprietary IBM technology and was a pretty powerful computer for for its time. I can't read. <laughs> then six years later, in 1981, IBM launched the popular IBM PC series. Now that's more famous. Anyway, it's not like me. Ah. Anyway, it's not like I'm an expert. This is just stuff read on a wiki. Really, we have to look up wiki. An online system for the creation and compilation... Com compilation of Compl hypertext <laughs> documents on a web service. Thank you, Boo. Yay. Server. Server. Whatever. We got this. We can read. We can't even say one word. <laughs> have you heard the urban legend that there's one in Akiba? You bet I have. Just last month, there was a big talk about... It on the net. Oh, I'm supposed to read that. Some at channelers heard that you rumors and went searching for it. My friend on Fra Para Sister Centipede was the main person behind that. Uh, a fictional popular and social. social oh. network service website designed to facilitate easy communication between users. It's Facebook. Kind of. It's like the original texting. Mm, it's dollars. Even the legendary na Nerd Hardit? Wow. Oh, gosh. <laughs> it's Neidhart Der Blitzschnell. This is a person from uh, uh, Chaos Head, the oh, visual really? novel. Yes. Oh, that's, that's actually cool. the main character. So it's Neidhart Der Blitzschnell? Neidhart Der Blitzschnell. Butchner joined the fray, but they still couldn't find it. That's cool. So it was just a hoax? Who knows? There are tons of underground shops in Akihabara. It went... Akaba. Aki Akiba. Akiba. It wouldn't be strange if an IBM 5100 suddenly it turned up in some hole in the wall. I think Akiba is short mm. for Akihabara. That's why yeah, I... Yeah, that's... Because like, they I seem see. to use it as... Um, it's it's probably why slang. my brain just translated into Akihabara. Yeah. My phone suddenly starts vibrating. Answer. Shining uh, finger. Tell her to go kill herself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, Vaisan, I mailed you as soon as I could. My name is Kiri Moika. I'm a 20-year-old freelance editor. I believe I mentioned rewrite. Sorry for taking your picture. It wasn't on purpose. I needed some shots of Akihabara for work, and you just happened to be happened to be in one. Actually, to tell you the truth, I was hoping to sneak some shots of the satellite Lamao. The sound French leap people laugh. What? L M A O. Lamao. By the way, the picture I took was just a test, not not the final shot. That's why I was using my phone, even if you hadn't begged me to delete it i wouldn't have posted it so don't worry anyway i should get back to the point i'm really sorry for asking like this okabe-kun but it would be super great if you could ask your friend the super hacker about the ibn 5100 i don't really know anything about computers especially old computers all i have to go on is that picture i showed you uh i'll attach it to i'll attach the image be absolutely positively Sure to reply, okay? I'll be waiting. And if you could, I'll be super happy if you gave me your super hacker friend's email address. I'll mail you again. It's okay to mail you again, right? Of course it is. Bye, Moika. What if we just never mail her ever again? Sounds Ellie, like a plan. she talks on email. That's she true. sounds friendly. Nice. I hit. I'm starting to like Moika, like a very, 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 very small. Ah, yes. We know exactly what this is. Oh, yes. Yeah, it's an IBM 5100. <laughs> yeah, I know. Duh, you can see the screen in the middle there. There's the floppy disk slot over there. There's the keyboard. And over there's the power I was joking the about the picture quality. Lo looks oh, okay. better than my videos. Ooh. <laughs> oh, yeah. come on. Can I put the phone away? Maybe? No. What's with this mail? Where'd Daru go? Disregarding the weird timing. He went after Ferris. He, he's right no. there. He's the guy reading the, the papers. You <laughs> lost really <laughs> a gloomy, unsociable woman I meant in front of Ratty Ken. She's like a completely different person on this email. Does she have split personalities or something? 
Hmm, well, I've got some info about the IBN 5100, so I guess I should give it to give her a reply. But if I send her immediate reply to a woman I just met, won't I come off as clingy and desperate? <laughs> <laughs> I, Hoin Kyoma, will not be taken lightly. This is my chance to make her understand which one of us is the superior human being. Okabe is really good at relationships. And above all, Amazing. I have yet to ascertain if she can be trusted. She might start harassing me if I reply the wrong way. I love you. And besides, she hasn't proven that she's not working for the organization. Nonetheless, it couldn't hurt to tell her what I learned from Daru. To discourage her, of course. <laughs> Little do you know it, it did hurt. Let's ignore it. This is out of kindness. <laughs> Sorry for the wait, Daru. So, there's one thing I need to know. I scan the area with my eyes once more, then I lean in close. The IBN 5100 has the power to destroy the world, right? What? It doesn't have the power to do anything, let alone destroy the dang world. Oh, jeez. <laughs> What's this now? The world's gonna be destroyed now? Yeah, she heard something chuny and came. Ferris brings my omelette rice. I just picture her vaulting over the counter. <laughs> Yeet. She's doing her cat-like gestures while keeping her tray balanced on one hand. True feline agility. Despite her nyan-nyanian nonsense, Ferris is the consummate professional. Wink. Master, thanks for waiting, nya nya. Omelette rice, nya. Daru's like five of hers. <laughs> that cat girl puts the omelette rice on He's the table. A thick boy. And then takes a bottle of ketchup from her apron, apron. apron pocket. <laughs> Why did I read that weird? She uses to write, The world is doomed in red letters <laughs> upon the omelette's blank yellow canvas. <laughs> Please enjoy your meal before the world ends. Whoa, the world is doomed for the wind. Ferris handwriting is so cute. If I put my omelet in danger too. It appears the cuteness has shadowed Daro's sanity. <laughs> I give him a look that says, calm down, but to no avail. I smooth out the ketchup with the bottom of my spoon, erasing the ketchup words. Uh, what a waste. I'm going to eat it either way. Dadanan, Dadanan, have you considered participating in the Ferris Cup, Nya? Yeah, of course. I'm participating. Ferris Cup? What's that? I take a mouthful of omelet rice. Next Sunday, we're hosting a Rhinet tournament at the cafe, Nya. Ferris starts dancing in place. I'd prefer she not jump around like that when people are eating nearby. Ferris is the vet organizer. It's all my idea, nya. You can t participate too if you want. Kyoma. Entrance fee is 1,000 yen. Includes a drink. Whoever beats Ferris gets to enjoy some of Ferris' home cooking, nya. A hundred dollars? For a hey, competition? That's $10. Entrance fees, oh, that is yeah, ten dollars. Okay. You get a drink. It will never happen. Okreen sucks at Ryanet. Nah, but it's so fun. No, I'm fine. I stop shoveling the omelet rice into my mouth. Then I deliver a melancholy sigh. <sighs> Ryanet access battle alerts, huh? Whenever I hear that name, I remember the former champion. Has it already been two years? No, it's nothing. Forget what I said. Nya nya? That sounded so serious, nya. Who was the former champion, nya? He probably doesn't exist. I mean, Rhinot doesn't even have officially tournaments until about a year ago. Hmm. Kilma, you can't forget him, can you, nya? Huh? 
I remember that you and the champion, my brother, were such good friends, Kioma. <laughs> you were so close it made me jealous, Nya. Dang it, she took my story and ran with it again. I never even said anything about him being her brother. Heck, I don't even know if Ferris has siblings. I shouldn't have talked about stuff like this in front of Ferris. But it's time to let go of the past. Seize the day with your own paws. Her shout resounds throughout the store. Her finger snaps at me. Even though it's painful, no, because it's painful, I succeeded my brother's dying wish and perfected my skills as a Rhinetter, nya. Do you remember, nya? He always used to say, Someday, let's bring peace to the world with Rhinet. Ferris, bring me my coffee. <laughs> <laughs> nya, nya? I present my empty plate to Ferris. I always eat quickly. It's a habit I picked up naturally during my years on the run from the organization. Screw the slow food trend. So you eat food slowly, yeah. Food takes time to cook and eat as opposed to fast food or instant food. Makes sense. I don't know why that's hyperlink, but <laughs> sure. <laughs> sure thing, master. Just a moment, ya. Moment, ya. Ferris takes the dish and heads back. Back to the counter. Phew, if I'd left things going as they were, I would have had to play along for another ten minutes in your fantasy world. Ferris is one of the most skilled renators I know. Daru explains with a wry smile. Ready? She's gone undefeated in over 400 unofficial matches. Is she Rix and Gracie? Daru ignores my perfect retort. I believe that's a chess player. It's so disappointing that Ferris doesn't go to official tournaments. She'd won if she did, no doubt. Why doesn't she? I'm sure it's for the customer. She probably doesn't want to inconvenience the store. Truly a model maid. Also, she's Mayushi's age. She probably, wish she probably has school, too. She doesn't want to inconvenience the store? Yeah, she's holding the Ferris cup here. That doesn't matter at all. The point is, Ferris is cute and cuteness is justice. Cute cat-eared maid maids are sweet, if you know what I mean, and that's all that matters, right? So in the end, do you bat for the 2D team or the 3D team? <laughs> I dare say, <laughs> I dare say I'm bi. I knew it. You're an inspiration. Daru. I know. I'm just too awesome. Daru usually doesn't show enthusiasm for anything. The exceptions are Mo and Ferris. Moe. Eh? I wish she I wish he were this passionate about our experiments. I had to pull Daru away from Ferris so we could return to the lab. We arrived to find it hotter than a sauna in heck. All right, so do we stop here? I well, think how, I'll so. Say it's so, yeah. been an hour. Has we did a screen hour? transition. Yeah. Oh we can check goodness. the email real let's, quick. Let's yeah, let's check our email and then We've we'll probably finish it here. Ferris. Ferris, you're more perceptive than I thought, Nya. So now you understand what's at stake. The Red Southern Cross will soon hatch, Nya. The time has come for Ferris to journey to the sanctuary and prepare for the I cannot say no more. Nya. I can say no more. Nya. Nya, nya, nya. What does it all mean? Well, all right. We'll find out next time we play Steins Gate Visual Now. Yay! Now let's dab and leave. Three, two, dab! <laughs> oh. Almost dabbed. I'm not gonna dab. Go on, dab. I have principles. You're bisexual. You have no principles. <laughs> let's dab! What? <laughs> <laughs> we, um, like and subscribe the video subscribe to the channel and like the video leave a comment telling us to work harder at this and uh, make part 4 happen sooner yes. and maybe it will hopefully also if you want to check out our podcast you can through the link in the descriptions as well if you want to check out any of our social medias or maybe give us an email you can do that through the descriptions as well we are Baka Talk, and this is on Baka Talk Studio our YouTube channel 
we've got podcasts and other things and it's on the youtube channel yeah well it's not all but enough of it is that you'll be able to find the other stuff i have been sir boom i'm wheeze and i'm pyrolis we'll see you all later thanks so much for watching <laughs> 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 <laughs>